Hello guys, welcome to the machine learning mindset. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about data set generators. Uh, this is an advanced tutorial, so you would actually need to read our previous tutorials to make sure that you understand every single details in this tutorial. So I am going to skip a lot of things that I already discussed in previous tutorials and leave it to you to go and um, kindly take a look to see what is happening inside. So. Here I want to show you how you can use data set generators, a very efficient way of creating um, TensorFlow data sets. This is based on Python generator functions, which actually are used to create the data samples on demand. Let me just go ahead. So here, it is import, we're importing TensorFlow as TS and NumPy as NP for aliases. And we are, I am going to load the database, pre-process it and actually prepare it for experiments. Here is the shape of the data after these steps. And we have 60,000 samples for training with each image of size 20 by 20 by one. And here I am going to define the generator functions. Um, please take a look. So the trained lens is actually the lens of the all samples in the database. And this function works as this. For each for i, it's actually for each technically sample in the database, it just return a random sample from the train data sets and it yields by x train and y train. So what does this yield mean? It says unless this function being called, nothing will be returned. And this is very important for us because we don't want to kill the memory by just returning everything and store it in a memory that we don't want. So I am doing the same um, way with test data set, gen pair test. And the pair is actually the image and the label pairs. And here I am going to show you, it's like sample image, sample label with this simple next function. This is going to be called once. That's all, as simple as that. So on demand, this function is going to be called by TF data data sets API as needed. And if we want to return 10 random samples, we just run this thing for 10. If we want to um, return a thousand random samples, we just run it by that. And once by the number of train lengths, this function has been run. So it's just going to be finished. It's the end of that. And then that is what we want actually. Later on, I am using these two functions as I am going to show you in a second. Here simply I'm using this TF data data sets from generator to create a TensorFlow database. And this from generator gets this function as the generator function and the outputs are actually the image type and the label type. As simple as that, and here I am batching uh, with a batch size of 32, which, which is going to be done by TensorFlow automatically. As simple as that. Here, I am going to showcase 16 images. And for the 16 images, for each one in the loop, simply here I am calling next generator pair. And for each time that I am calling this next, it's going to give me one random image with its associated, um, actually, label. And you would see that if I go run these things, that each time we are going to have some new set of images because this is a random image returning. And we don't need to do shuffling because we're returning the data on demand. And it's very memory efficient. Let me show you, 8486, and I'm going to run it again. And it's going to return new data. You see 5713 again and again. Anytime that I run it, it's going to be returning a random shuffle. And it gives us a full experience of random shuffling um, in the database as well. So in previous tutorials, I talked about how I'm going to define a model loss and accuracy. I encourage you to take a look. Specifically here is in the custom training the custom training um, tutorial that I show you, everything else is the, is the same, except I'm using this 
Python generator functions to create the database. You'll find it extremely useful, specifically when we are working with sophisticated input pipeline that you need to do multiple different process inside and that your database is long. Here was a simple example, but you may want to do a lot of different pre-processing or um, steps here to make your data set ready. If you want to make it with general TF data, um, complicated approach is going to be very time consuming and uh, confusing. But with these um, data set generators, things are going to be much easier. Here is the training results, training and test. And this is actually um, the test accuracy in the end. You would see the test accuracy is um, close to the train accuracy. It means very good generalization in general due to the random process, uh, random sampling. All right, that was um, a friendly introduction to data set generators, which um, I hope you find very useful in your experiments. Um, and feel free to comment below if you have any question or point of view. Um, thank you so much for watching.